Ukrainian servicemen fired anti-aircraft guns at Russian positions on Tuesday near Bakhmut. The city is located on a strategic supply line between the Donetsk and Luhansk regions, which make up the Donbas, Ukraine's industrial heartland. Gaining control of Bakhmut could give Russia a platform to advance on two bigger cities, Kramatorsk and Slovyansk. It would also be a welcome battlefield victory for President Vladimir Putin after a series of setbacks in recent months. Kiev said on Tuesday that its troops are facing waves of assaults by Russian forces on a small salt mining town of Solodar. And seizing Solodar would give an advantage to Russian forces as they hope to capture Bakhmut, only a few miles to the southwest. Serhei Chirivati, a spokesperson for Ukraine's eastern forces, said the Russians were deploying their best Wagner fighters at Solodar, which had been struck 86 times by artillery over the past 24 hours. Britain's defense ministry said Russian troops and Wagner fighters were probably now in control of most of the town after advances in the last four days. It was a Donbass tramway. But in his nightly video address on Monday, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Bakhmut and Solodar were holding on despite widespread destruction. Reuters could not verify the battlefield reports. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg on Tuesday said Russia was mobilizing more troops for the war in Ukraine and should not be underestimated. And there is no indication that President Putin has changed uh, the overall aim of his uh, uh, brutal war against uh, Ukraine. So we need to be prepared for the long haul. That as Russia's defense ministry released footage of a warship armed with hypersonic cruise weapons holding exercises in the Norwegian Sea. Last week, Putin sent the frigate to the Atlantic Ocean armed with new generation missiles in a signal to the West that Russia will not back down over what it calls its special military operation.